All you really need to get an authentic steak au poivre is tons of black peppercorns, three quarters of a cup. Today I'm gonna show you how to make it, but first I'm gonna start by making a little side dish of roasted fingerling potatoes. Slice three quarters of a pound of fingerling potatoes in half lengthwise. Slicing them in half lengthwise leaves a lot of surface area for getting nice and golden in your oven, which is what you like, or we like anyway. Drizzle with a tablespoon of olive oil and then season with salt and pepper. The huge, the huge. Give it a little toss. These are gonna roast at 425 degrees. I like to put my potatoes cut side down so they get nice and golden. Just throw these in the oven. It should take about 35 minutes to cook. While there's a cooking, prep your steaks. As promised, a ton of peppercorns. This is three quarters of a cup of peppercorns. Today I'm gonna grind them in a spice mill. See, maybe they're done now. If there are any completely whole peppercorns left when you dump your peppercorns out of the spice grinder, just get rid of them. I need to trim these steaks. There's a little bit of fat on them that I want to remove and I want to season them as well. Don't remove it all. I personally like crispy steak. Just a little bit though, right? Not too much. Just press the steaks into the peppercorn so that it adheres and then have your pan heating on a medium high you're gonna cook these steaks in a combination of a tablespoon of butter and a tablespoon of olive oil. Add your one tablespoon of butter to your pan and one tablespoon of olive oil together. A happy marriage. Let the butter melt and heat up. Once everything is nice and hot and bubbling, put your steaks in the pan and then you need to let them cook. It'll take about eight minutes total for medium rare. So four minutes per side. While you're waiting, patiently waiting, you know how patient I am. You can chop some parsley for garnish. All right, put your parsley in a bowl because you're gonna wanna rest your steak on your carving board. You know what, I'm gonna turn my potatoes over. I feel like it's been about 15 minutes and then put them back in the oven. Turn your steaks too. Ooh, it looks really dark, but remember, pepper is black, so don't freak out. Take your steaks out, let them rest for 10 minutes while you make your pan sauce that you're making in this pan. See all that stuff in the bottom of the pan? You don't really want that. Just the little brown bits on the bottom, but none of the blackened peppercorns. So if there are any nice brown bits, leave those in the pan. And then, on to your sauce. Quarter cup of dry white wine, like a Sauvignon Blanc or a Chardonnay or something like that. Turn the heat to medium from high, and then add the wine to the pan carefully because it's really gonna bubble up. Let it reduce by half and scrape up any brown bits from the bottom of the pan. Sometimes this takes as long as two minutes, but I find that generally it only takes about 30 seconds. To that, add three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. And then cook that until it reduces and thickens, which, is, which amazingly happens quite quickly, usually in about three to four minutes. At the end, you're gonna add some Dijon mustard a teaspoon. I don't know why they always add it at the end, so I'm just adding it now. I'm the, I'm a rebel that way. A little bit of salt. And then stir everything together. You know what else helps the sauce thicken? The mustard. What about the potatoes? Should I take those out? I should. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget all about them, like I just did. Nice and golden brown after 35 minutes. Look at those. Don't you wanna eat them? Turn off your sauce before you think it's done because it will continue to reduce and thicken in the hot pan and before you know it, it'll be too thick. So give yourself a couple slices of steak. How much do you want? I had steak for breakfast, so I don't really want that much. Some potatoes too. Don't forget those potatoes you made for yourself. I really think that there could be a green salad here. I highly recommend it to finish off your lovely dinner and then spoon some sauce on top. And it's classic, and it's creamy, and it's delicious, and it's spicy, and that cream offsets the spiciness of the pepper in such a beautiful way. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do, you, you will not be happy. I mean, you will be happy, and then you'll regret it. Eating spoonfuls of cream sauce 
not recommended. But serving it over your delicious steak with your potatoes, highly recommended.